Gotta look after those feet. Bit of moisturizer, bit of that stuff. And before you start, it's funny the days I do this before I start um, tend to be the days I have less hassle and less pain. Feeling very sluggish this morning. Uh, everything's happening a little bit slower than I would have liked, but I am on the road. It's about half ten, and as you can see over my shoulder and up behind me here, the Suck Valley Way is my next target for the next couple of days until I get to Ballymo. I'm off. Talk to you soon. First of all, how beautiful is the Suck Valley Way today? But secondly, I've got company. This little dog has decided to join me for the next few miles, probably. He's been with me about a mile so, so far. Kind of cute. I'm walking through forest again before I hit the bog in a little bit. Um, on the way to Craig's out of Ballygar, and I have. I uh, don't know how long I'm going to go today. I'm just going to keep walking. My parents come to meet me this evening and bring me back to Ballygar where I'm going to stay again. It's kind of nice to have the same bed two or three nights in a row. It's happened a few times on the trip, but it makes it an awful lot easier because you can leave some of the the heavy duty stuff behind reduces the weight a little bit in the back and uh, yeah just a little bit of familiarity and not having to worry about where to sleep or check in and stuff like that so parents bring back to Ballygar and then <coughs> the old B&B it's gonna bring me back to wherever I finish today uh, only a couple of miles outside of Finally crossing the border into County Roscommon after been skirting around it all week, basically. Um, my company and my little dog has left me. And I'm back on my own in the middle of nowhere. Like I've been for three weeks today. Absolutely loving it though. Just hearing an idea of how cold it is. It's just afternoon. And that's still frozen solid. So I'm at the top of Mount Mary and I'm just back in the forest, it's basically on the other side of the track. Uh, no views, no scenery, just trees, trees and more trees. Uh, starting to make the descent down on the other side and I have to walk back around the bottom of the mountain. It's not a mountain, hill. Before, um, before I make my way into Craig's later this afternoon. Uh, should pass through Craig's and head to Valley Mo, but I won't get there by sundown. That was kind of what I expected anyway. So yeah, keep walking. It's kind of the motto for the last three weeks and probably the best part of the next week. Is just keep moving. It doesn't matter about pace. Actually, um, I was out yesterday and a girl passed me. She actually ended up being serving me a sandwich this morning for my lunch um, in the shop in, in Centrum Ballygar. Um, but she passed me yesterday when we were walking and I remember asking her for directions or something, she said hello or something anyway, but she was flying and she was gone and there was no way I could even contemplate even picking up the pace. I was just trudging along on my own slow speed at this stage, particularly late in the days. And uh, she recognised me this morning and she was full of the chats and wanted to know what I was doing where I was going. And then it turned out the guy who was working on the butcher right beside her actually had a... Uh, I'd been talking to him in Ockram in Valerie's in Ockham a few weeks, days ago uh, when I was having my dinner. So yeah, it's a small world. Keep bumping into people all over the place. It's funny. Anyway, back to the walk. It's absolutely gorgeous up here on Mount Mary, looking out over the valley below me. It's just breathtaking. But unfortunately it's pretty wet, uh, so as you can see here on the on the trail. It's pretty much a marsh the whole way across the top of the hill. So funny enough, I have to go further down into the hill and try and get a bit of dry land to make it across to the stile at the end of the road, end of the top of the field. This is pretty much the last hill I'll see until I get to uh, boil in the curlews in a few weeks. Not even a few weeks, a few days. See, it's weird. I still haven't quite felt like I'm that close to home, even though I know I am almost there, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to leave you because this is just too wet to take a gamble on not having both hands. Catch you shortly. 
So this is what I mean about it being slightly frustrating uh, to judge times and distances and, and all that sort of stuff. I've done 14 and a half kilometers and the town that was 10k from me this morning is still in the distance. Now it is in the distance, I can see it. It's probably about two, two and a half kilometers. So I'll hit somewhere around 16, 17k today to do a 10k distance. And that's because, I can't really show you because of the, the light, but you can see, yeah, I can't really show you from here because the sun, like, the sun's setting over the hill behind me. But I did come over the hill. Um, it wasn't very big, maybe 200 meters, 180 meters, that sort of thing above sea level. But you, you end up, I, I took about five kilometers to do what should have taken me about half a K on the main road. Um, it's a much nicer walk, yes, but it means that what should take you 10K takes 16 or 17, and that's happening every single day. So it's very hard to reliably say, even when you're gonna hit a certain town. Uh, the sun thing is excellent, but the one thing that's not very well done is distances and giving you a, uh, an idea of how long it takes to get from one town to the next. They give you a kind of a general number and sometimes it's been out by as much as 100%. So sometimes it said it's going to take 8 hours or 9 hours and it's taken me 4 or 5. And then other days it says it's going to take you 2.5 and, and it's taken me 3. So it's very hard to actually judge with any credibility how long it's going to take. Personally I prefer to see it with a mileage distance and maybe an elevation elevation um, thing where it shows you like oh mountain hill mountain hill um, or flatland or whatever and you can judge for yourself how long it's going to take to get across those surfaces the one thing I'm finding out day after day after day on this trail is that you just need time lots and lots of time so I got to Craig's and it is bitterly cold I've stopped for a bite to eat and there's nowhere to eat so it's just the shop and try and find a place outside it and it's back to hat scarf gloves and everything meet my parents here and I have about another four or five K that I'm gonna try and walk maybe for another hour out, out the road it's kind of risk common and towards Glinsk probably won't make it quite that far today but we'll uh, we'll give it a good bash so I mentioned my mum and dad were coming to say hello and they brought a surprise guest my nephew Matthew say hello Matthew hello. Uh, so Matthew's come and join me and we're walking for a little bit and you'll see for the first time in ages I have no bag which is good so trying to get another couple of kilometers click locked up before we uh, call it a day for the night already on 16k hoping to make it somewhere just under 20 or maybe just touch 20 and uh, yeah we'll just go on and see how we get on uh, Matthew's checking out the sheep loads of sheep then you're, you're used to seeing sheep on this on this channel for the last three weeks okay uh, we shall sum up at the end of the day Talk to you then. Bye-bye.